This room is a disaster. I need to clean it much better. May 17th, 2016. Today I went to a picnic with my team. It was actually a very good time, I had some good conversations. But when I go to these things, I always eat too much and it was like a potluck type thing. So there were cookies and more cookies and cheeseburgers and hot dogs and everything unhealthy. And I wanna eat healthy leading into the trials, but tonight I just like, or not even, it's not even nighttime yet, but like this evening I just kinda didn't eat too healthy. <laughs> So don't hold it over my head. It's been a it's been a long two days. Trust me. I just I felt like I really needed some type of comfort food. Not really comfort food, but just something that tasted better than salad. So tomorrow I'm gonna eat very healthy. But today, yeah, I guess it, it just I didn't. And like since I haven't been able to eat very solid foods recently, my mouth was feeling better this evening, so I decided to go a little overboard. Self-control with food is really hard for me. A question I get not very often, but one that has been asked a couple times and is kind of interesting to me is how I edit my videos. Now with the daily vlog style, it's super easy, but I think for this vlog, I wanna show you guys what I do to edit my videos. So I'm just gonna kind of re-edit one of my older videos and just show you how the flow works. Since I'm too lazy to use a screen recorder, I'm just gonna film it on my camera. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I've been using it for like two or three years now. The Adobe Cloud, the Creative Cloud, is just so good. So I highly recommend the Creative Cloud with Premiere. I use Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects. But for these vlogs, I use Premiere. Okay, so basically my workflow goes like this. You create a project, and I just name it. So since this is all a series, um, I'm gonna re-edit episode 15. Okay, so once everything is set up like this, the first thing I do before I even import anything is create a new sequence. Um, this just makes exporting a lot faster. So in exporting, I don't have to change the name. So once I have that, I have two computer screens and I click and drag all of my files down into this section. So here are all my clips. Then after that, you just add in the intro and boom. So essentially what I do is I actually edit the audio for every clip. I bring the, the levels down so it's not like peaking the entire time. So for this, you just kind of play. So today was the day that I went and played bass at my church. Hudson came with me. Here's the intro and then the clips from the day. And then you just kind of trim it to where you want and then I throw the intro in and boom, there's that. And then basically what I do is I just throw all the clips in and cut them as needed, um, bring the levels down so everything's not completely blown out. And essentially, like a clip like this. So what I did, if you guys have not seen uh, episode 15, go watch it. So for this, we were playing um, some copyright music, but I was showing Glenn like the lyrics to one of Kanye's new songs. And these lyrics were absolutely insane, so I thought it'd be funny to get his reaction, but to avoid copyright, I couldn't have the song in there. So this is what I did. So if you guys have ever read the description of one of my videos, I get all of my background music from an artist on YouTube named Chucky. And for this video, um, I just took like a hard bass heavy rap sounding thing, threw it in at the part where I wanted the lyrics cut out. So I get to the part where I want to cut it and basically I just have a ton of shortcuts already pre-mapped out on my computer. Once it gets to the part where we're laughing, I bring the audio back in. So essentially I just delete that section of audio and I kind of tried to time it for the video, but for this video's sake, I'm not going to. But essentially, it goes from normal audio Said the hipster. to just the random background music that's copyright free that I can use and not get in trouble with Kanye's producers, but you still get to see Glenn's reaction. <laughs> and then it goes back to the audio. And so once I get to the end of a video, I don't do it every single time. Um, just because I, I don't like it as much, but I have this outro that I import, and it's a preset outro because there's no way I would do this every single time, but I made this a long time ago, so there's that, and then I always take that previous day's video and throw it down in this corner, so I just bring it on top. And for this, um, I have the numbers memorized as to how I want it to fit, which the numbers aren't hard to memorize because it's just size it down to 30. Um, and then I just kind of scale it 
where I want it, that looks fine. Um, and then I do the fade in and fade out with it. So for time's sake, that's where it starts full 100% capacity. That's where it ends. Go to the end, type in a zero, and go to when it starts, and type in another zero. And that is how I do the outro. So when a video ends, there it all pops up together. Um, and you can click on the the video typically every time in the final video that you're watching on YouTube and you can go directly to that video. I don't know if any of that made sense, but that's kind of my video workflow, my edit flow. Um, I just kind of go clip by clip in order throughout the day, so it's chronological. Throw in the intro, throw in the outro. Um, there's really not much editing that goes on. It's just a lot of piecing together, cutting out the breaths, cutting out the, the moments where I'm talking and I'm kind of paused so I can think about what I'm gonna say next. But honestly, it's really simple. So if anyone's like discouraged about starting a vlog or making videos because they're scared of editing, editing can be scary, but if you keep it as simple as possible, it is pretty enjoyable and it's a pretty quick workflow. Like I, I think I edited the original version of episode 15 in maybe 10 minutes. It does not take long. Um, the videos that do take longer are the ones with a lot of effects and a lot of titles, intros, outros. But this basic vlog style is very, very quick, very, very easy. So I highly recommend if you guys are doing vlogs and you're just kind of discouraged because editing might take a while, just try it out. Try doing it in a simple way. And the easiest way to try that out is just don't get crazy with intros and outros or text. Just cut out all the pauses and you'll see that it'll flow a lot better. And with time you'll enjoy it more, it'll get a lot better, it'll get a lot easier. But that is my workflow. I haven't used Premiere my entire life. I started on Windows Movie Maker and then moved to VideoPad, which is a free editing software, kind of like iMovie. I had a PC though, so I couldn't use iMovie, but iMovie is an awesome thing to start with. So if you are doing editing as like something every day and it is something you want to get into, I recommend the Adobe Cloud. But if you are just making vlogs and doing them occasionally, not doing them every day, just kind of doing it for fun and want to learn the basics, definitely go with like iMovie, VideoPad, Windows Movie Makers. You can't go wrong with those things. They're there for a reason and they do a great job. So May 17th, all I did was talk about how to edit vlogs. Oh, and I cleaned my room, kind of. As you can see, it got destroyed again, but that's, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to hit subscribe because I'm here every single day. Tomorrow, um, I am going to out of town. We'll see what I'll film. See ya!